today we're in beautiful Carmel, Indiana at the Cool Creek Park. We're gonna catch some Pokemans. We're gonna become some Poke Boys. Poke Boys are already here June 10th. We're coming back. Poke Boys 2K16 represent. We're gonna take some gyms over. We're gonna get some Pokemon lured to us. We're gonna make that guap. Stay tuned. So this Cool Creek Park sign right here, this is a Poke Stop. You know, you guys, you know, gotta catch them all, as I say. Uh, I did not know this, but it was actually uh, dedicated to the dream of Ed McMahon. Oh, got him! There's a bunny over there. Zoom in on the bunny. I'm gonna say something. About it. What's a bunny Pokemon? There's two of them. What's a bunny Pokemon? There's like Hip Hop or Hep Hip or something from from one of them. There's two of them. All right, let me know when you're recording. Already recording. Look over there! Whoa! <laughs> See the one back there? You get the one over there too. Get oh a picture God. with me of these Pokemon. Right there, I got it. Got that Pokemon. That one over there. I'm trying. I'm working on it. Gotta save it for some great balls. Wow. This is what hunters must feel like. Like you got an Oddish. Boom. I think there's a Nidoran over here too. I think it's a male version. You remember when Pokemon used to have only like one Pokemon that was male and one Pokemon that was female, mm -hmm. and now it's like all Pokemon? How do they retcon that? I I don't know. I think they just hope no one is paying attention. I'm sure there's a lot of fan fiction written about it. See that top skilled dragster right here? Jeez. Just right off the bat. <laughs> yeah. Could this be a Pokemon's home? Scientists don't know yet. But they think it could be. We found the wild shell of a war turtle. Could it be that? Or is it a squished Bulbasaur? Or a sewage pipe. Who knows? Here we are in a place that can only be called a true Viridian forest. Let's go see if we can find a Pikachu. Darkness has descended upon us, and only can we hope that we catch a weeder or a caterpillar is our only reason to be here in this dark, dank place today. Oh, I hope I catch a weeder. Earlier I was in the bathroom and I caught a Weedle, but it hurt when I caught it. What type of water Pokemon lie in the depths of this creek? Only time will tell. Is that a water strider Pokemon? Who knows? Was this the final resting place of a sad Jinx or a Gengar before he became a ghost? Someone may have hung themselves here. Only further investigation will tell. There's also a spider Pokemon here. We can't think of one though, so I'm sure there's one. It's probably, what's spider backwards? It's probably a red ibs. Here we are in the heart of the wilderness, truly a Pokemon paradise, and yet we have found not a single Pokemon. Who does it say is nearby, Jared? The Gyarados is nearby. The Gyarados on the bridge, a classic image from Pokemon history. Despite our findings of the spider Pokemon's lair, and multiple sightings by passers-by, we've yet to find a single Pokemon here today. What could this mean for the state of Pokemon? Are they endangered? Are we all going to, are we going to kill them all off as soon as they came to arrive in our new world? What does this mean for the state of Indiana? What does this mean for Indiana? With Mike Pence gone, now joining the Donald Trump ticket, how are we supposed to get more Pokemon in here without our leaders to guide us? He took the Pokemon with him. He took the Pokemon with him. He's going to make America great again, but Indiana will be deprived of its Pokemon. Luckily, we are forced by law to carry our pokey eggs to full term and have to pay for funerals for any pre-cracked eggs. Look how, look, how, look how close to full term this one is. This is hanging out at nine and a half months right here. Yeah, that would be a, what we call late term cracking. Yeah. Don't crack that one. My urethra is filled to bursting. Oh my god, it's happening. An egg is cracking here today. We will see what egg. Could it be the world's first legendary? Could it be a Zapdos? It probably definitely is. It's a Poliwag. Wow. Use my... Jared is what we to refer the, to in the Pokemon you know? Go community as a power gamer. He's going to hatch a lucky egg in order to get the most out of his... Hatch a lucky egg? I'm going to be work. transferring some Pokemon and evolving them. But didn't you crack a lucky egg? I already did. It was a Poliwag. Okay, I'm going back up there. That's a lucky egg? So you have to hatch a lucky egg? I don't know. What's the difference? I thought you just used them. Watch this. Dun, you can tell dun, because dun, of how, dun, dun, how dun, smart we dun, are dun, dun, with the game. Dun, dun, 
dun, that we dun, know how it dun, works. Dun, 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 we're definitely dun, power dun, gamers dun, dun, and experts. Da 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 That is what we call an Aquarion. It is a aqua water based Pokemon. Born it's in It's kind the... of like a fox, but it has a mermaid head. You know um, why they're called Vaporeons if they are? Or aqua- Aquarion? Aqu- because they were born in the end of December or beginning of January. Mm-hmm. Age of Aquarius, the Aquarion. Jared, I need to tell you something. Did you know that there's a way that you can actually decide how your Eevee evolves? How? I don't know, but I saw a headline that said that. So you're a real stupid idiot for not doing it. That's all you should know. <laughs> we got you. Here we are once again at the creek today, looking for Pokemon. We have not found really any here, except we did catch an Eevee. But we came upon... Female. We came upon this startling discovery, a single child's boot, alone, drenched, covered in mud. Was someone killed here, murdered, all for their love of Pokemon? What could these paper and this flower have to say about it? We don't know, we're on the case. We'll follow up if we find any more details about this one-legged child gone missing. This Pokemon has a name tag and an ant is crawling on it. What makes this tree so... Did I say Pokemon or did I say tree? (laughs) I can't remember. This tree has a name tag. What makes this tree so important that it gets a name tag? That's what I want to know. Jared caught a real Pokemon here. This is called an Anthrax. And it is the first chemical weapon based Pokemon. I found some footprints of a wild Pokemon. And here is its dam. What would the Pokemon Beaver Tracks think of this? The murder mystery continues. First. A lone child's shoe, now evidence of a passionate murder. This is commemorating the weed that, that was named Butterfree. He used to smoke this every day and he would get mad blazed off this chronic. And you can see here that he died from it eventually and that's why they put these old statues up to honor Butterfree the dead. The authorities are now circling the park looking for the murdered child. We'll let you know when we know more. I caught one! I caught Magico! Come on! Come on!